This video is about the low Z meter. This function is very useful for field technicians. Using this mode puts a load on the circuit that you are testing. Normally, the input impedance of a meter is very high and will not affect the circuit you are testing. Low Z can be used to detect ghost voltages and compromised voltage sources. Ghost voltages are those that appear that shouldn't. They appear on parts of a circuit that have no current flowing through them. They are often induced by proximity to other wires via inductive or capacitive coupling. In low Z mode, ghost voltages tend to disappear, most often letting you know that they aren't relevant to a circuit's function. Sometimes you'll even have leakage current through a high resistance that supplies a voltage that you don't expect. Although technically not a ghost voltage, the effect is similar. Compromised voltage sources, on the other hand, are generally those with an upstream or internal resistance that precludes them from supplying the required current. An example is a wall outlet that may read okay with a traditional voltmeter but fails or decreases in voltage when you try to draw current from it because of loose wiring or connections. Here's a use case for low Z. We have an electric dryer that runs but has no heat. The L2 voltage line has a loose connection in an upstream junction box in the order of about 500 ohms. We first measure it using the standard AC voltage mode and then use the low Z mode to measure it. Both methods effectively use a voltage divider to give you a reading. A voltage divider is when two or more loads in series splits the supply voltage in a way that is proportional to the resistance of each load. So let's take a look at that voltage source being read by two different modes. This example shows the difference in the voltage that you would read using a traditional mode versus low Z. As you can see, the low Z mode is the only mode that reveals a problem with this voltage source. Details on how this works can be found in the link in the description of this video. You can even use the low Z meter to tell you the value in ohms of the upstream loose connection. In our example, the upstream loose connection was 500 ohms. There is a formula that you can use to determine that value if you are in the field and would like to give a follow-up electrician details about the voltage source failure. More information on this can be found in the link in the description of this video. To summarize, the low Z meter is an invaluable tool for detecting ghost voltages and compromised voltage sources. Don't be stuck in the field without one. To purchase the recommended low Z meter featured in this video, click the link in the description. Thanks for watching.